gunshots pepper the air at the border between Myanmar and Bangladesh. Witnesses say it's the sound of Rohingya civilians being fired upon by Myanmar's military. Hamid Hossein made it to the relative safety of Bangladesh, but paid a high price. One of my sons was lost while crossing the border. We could not tolerate the torture of the Myanmar government. They killed our people. Bodies were lying there. We were helpless. Government people burned our houses. They also killed our small children. How can we live there? He and his wife are some of the few who managed to cross the border early Saturday. Thousands more Rohingya remain trapped in Myanmar, where the army has begun what it calls clearance operations to root out Rohingya fighters. Thousands of civilians are caught in the middle of clashes and are alleging they are also a target. What we can see on the other side of the border, a huge, massive firing is going on. We heard the sound and due to that effect, you can see a number of Rohingya people, they're coming down along the hills. But Bangladesh border guards drive them back. We are the border guard force of Bangladesh. We are alert. We are doing our job. Our job is to protect the border. We are doing our job. That's all. Rohingya fighters attacked army and police posts in Rakhine State on Thursday night. At least a dozen security personnel were killed. Myanmar's government says in response they killed 77 Rohingya fighters. Just hours earlier, former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan had announced the findings of a year-long investigation into the mistreatment of the Rohingya minority in Myanmar. He sold a dream of unity and peace for the country. The Commission has chosen to squarely face these sensitive issues because we believe that if they are left to fester, the future of Rakhine State and indeed Myanmar as a whole will be irretrievably jeopardized. It's really disturbing is the uh, situation getting much, much worse even day by day. We need urgent intervention to protect the lives of innocent Rohingya people. Meanwhile, thousands of Rohingya wait, stateless, and with Myanmar's military bearing down on them. Charlotte Bellis, Al Jazeera.